Hello and welcome. We'll be going over a demo video on how to automate deployments of Amazon S3 file gateway in VMware using Terraform by HashiCorp. My name is Ed Laura. I'm a senior solution architect on the storage gateway service team. And with me today is Prabir Sekri, who's a senior solution architect and will be guiding us through the demo video. AWS Storage Gateway is a service that enables the hybrid cloud model. Existing applications and data archives that live on-prem within your environment can connect to a gateway, in this case, Amazon S3 file gateway, over SMB or NFS standard storage protocols, and then data is going to reside within AWS in Amazon S3 as native S3 objects. We also support new data sources, such as genomic sequencing, broadcast video, or video surveillance that can be sent to the gateway and also stored in Amazon S3. AWS Storage Gateway consists of four different gateway types, Amazon S3 File Gateway, Amazon FSx File Gateway, Tape Gateway, and Volume Gateway. And today we'll be focusing on the Amazon S3 File Gateway, which provides native file access, SMB or NFS, to Amazon S3 for backups, archives, and ingestion for data lakes. The typical architecture for S3 File Gateway is to be deployed on-premises within your data center or your environment as a VM, or we do have a physical 1U rack mount server as a hardware appliance option. We provide NFS and SMB standard storage protocol access to your applications and store that data within Amazon S3 over either the internet or private connectivity from your data center. Uh, that data is stored in Amazon S3 where you have the full capability to enable things such as lifecycle policies to transition that data down to lower cost storage tiers, as well as things like object lock and others to protect the data. The main use cases for storage gateway is in general, is used as a repository for machine generated data, such as database backups, whether it be SQL, Oracle, or SAP, data archives, any traditional storage system that you have likely has 80% or more of that data being cold or rarely accessed. And then also to ingest data into your data lakes within Amazon S3 to enable workflows such as data pipelines where you can use AWS Lambda and other services to run analytics and additional tools and compute against that data. We will now be moving to the demo part of this video where we will show you how you can automate the deployment of the AWS Storage Gateway on your on-prem VMware environment using Terraform by HashiCorp. We will be leveraging the AWS Storage Gateway Terraform modules that provide end-to-end -end examples that will not only create an AWS Storage Gateway virtual machine, but also activate your gateway within AWS, join it to the Active Directory domain, create an Amazon S3 bucket, and lastly, create an SMB file share that is ready to be mounted by a client. This example will focus on using Terraform Cloud, which is HashiCorp's managed service offering. It will allow us to run the infrastructure's code remotely and also store and manage state files that are compliant with SOC 2 standards. We will also connect Terraform Cloud to a version control system or VCS, which automatically triggers runs based on changes to the VCS repositories. Note that the modules can also be deployed using the Terraform open source binary or with your own custom pipelines. There are a number of prerequisites that you need to address, such as installing the Terraform binary, setting up service accounts with the required permissions, such that Terraform can deploy the necessary resources on AWS and VMware. You will also need to provide Active Directory domain credentials for joining the gateway to the domain. In addition, for running the deployment via Terraform Cloud, you will also need a Terraform Cloud account and Terraform Cloud agents. The agents will allow Terraform Cloud to communicate with your on-prem infrastructure. You will also need to clone or fork the storage gateway repository to your own VCS repository. In our case, we are using GitHub. We will not be showing you the prerequisite setup in this demo, but we will include the necessary documentation and blog posts for your reference. Lastly, make sure that you verify the network connectivity needed for storage gateway to work between your on-prem infrastructure and AWS. You may refer to the AWS storage gateway documentation page for more details regarding the networking requirements. After setting up the prerequisites, verify that the Terraform Cloud agent 
is running and is in the idle state listening for new jobs. In my case, I have a Terraform Cloud Agent deployed on an on-prem virtual machine that can reach my vCenter APIs. As a reminder, this step is only needed if you're running the deployment using Terraform Cloud. Next, navigate to Terraform Cloud Projects and Workspaces. Firstly, we will create a new workspace. We have a number of different options for the workflow. For this example, we will be choosing a version control workflow. Next, we will connect our workspace to our repository. Next, you will choose a name for the workspace, and you can optionally add description. Next, click on Advanced Options. Next, in the workspace settings, we will be leveraging the S3 file gateway on VMware example from the module. Next, you have an option of automatically applying changes if the Terraform plan is successful or running a manual apply. We will leave it to manual. Optionally, you can configure other parameters with VCS triggers, such as running the deployments from another branch. We will leave this as is. And next, we will click on Create Workspace. At this moment, Terraform Cloud will parse the variables from the examples directory and you may optionally add them at a later stage should you wish to. Note that certain variables are marked as sensitive, which means that their values will not be exported in the state file. Lastly, we'll need to change the execution mode of the workspace to use Terraform Cloud Agents. This can be found under Settings and under the Generals tab. You have an option to choose Agent pulled, in my case, I only have this one pool running. Click on Save Settings. For the purpose of this demo, I already have the variables configured in another workspace. As you can see them over here. As well as a Terraform plan and apply, which is ready to be run. Click on Confirm and Apply and optionally add a comment. We will navigate to the Terraform Cloud Agent, and you can see that it is indeed running the Terraform Apply. I can also check on the VMware site to see if my storage gateway virtual machine is being deployed. As you can see that the virtual machine is up and running, we can now go to the AWS console to verify the status of the storage gateway. Note that the storage gateway appears to be in the offline state. This is perfectly normal since there are a number of things being configured in the background, such as the cache disks at this moment. After a few minutes, we can see that the deployment is now completed. We will verify that the storage gateway is in the running state and join to the Active Directory domain successfully. Next, we will verify that the storage gateway has a file share, which is backed by an S3 bucket created by the Terraform module example. Can see that we have an empty bucket. We are now ready to mount the file share. On my local Windows client, I will mount the file share with the letter I. And this completes successfully. Next, I will browse the file share using the Windows File Explorer 
and create a new file for testing purposes. And I'll save it to my file share. We can also check in the AWS console if the file persists in the S3 bucket by clicking the refresh button. You can optionally also download the file to verify if all the contents are there. Yes, they are. Lastly, the storage gateway module has other examples such as the NFS-based S3 file gateway on VMware as well as an example for EC2-based file gateways. We're constantly adding new features and automation capabilities to this module. Please ensure to always check out the latest releases for new updates. This concludes the demo. Thanks for watching.